uh, two thermometers, uh, each registering a slightly different temperature in the air. Uh, students should make note of that so they don't assume that they're um, precise to the tenth of a degree. If there's differences between them, you should take that into account when they're recording their data. Um, right now this one's reading 30.6, this one's reading 30.2, but let's put them down here and uh, I'm going to put this one near the surface. And it's a pretty cold day, right? It's below freezing. I'll hold this one up here. And uh, you actually see the temperature on that one's already going up. It's now at 31.7, 32.7, 33 33.6. And you wait a couple more minutes, and the temperature near the surface will be much warmer than the temperature above. That's at 34.5. Uh, this one right now is at 32.1. So we have a 2.5 degree, 2.4 degree difference right now. Now that one's at 35.4. This is still at 32.1. We'll take another minute and we'll get a pretty stable reading. That will be a few degrees warmer. Another thing uh, students will take a look at is use the light probe to determine like why is one surface warmer than another. And I'm going to do that now for um, these two surfaces. I'm going to touch both and see are they at the same temperature. And we'll wait here about 30 seconds because as you saw before, that takes a while to, for the um, thermal energy from the ground to transfer into the metal tip. And it looks like I'm getting 37 degrees on the black surface and 34.1 on the sidewalk and we'll test it again for another surface like uh, the side of that house there and we'll see a difference between the dark um, paint on the house and the light paint it actually might be striking it might even be like 40 50 60 degrees on a day that's this cold so uh, over here we have our uh, light meter and as the instructions show uh, with it there's a different range for um, what it can detect. So if I set it to this right now, and I point this upwards, it goes to one. It says I, it's beyond the range it can detect. That's because right, right now that setting is a range of zero to 1,999 lux. That's lower than the light outside. If I go to the second setting, it's zero to 19,999. That would work if it's kind of dark, but not when it's bright, bright sunlight. So bright sunlight, usually you're going to need it to go to this setting, this 100,000 setting, which takes it all the way up to, um, actually says 20,000 to 100,000 is what it can detect here. So brighter light. I'm going to lay that on the ground to show, like, one reading kids are going to get is, well, how much light hits the surface? Okay, so I've set this up uh, on the ground facing upward, so it's detecting the amount of light hitting that detector there. And I've set it to the highest setting, which is times 100. So instead of 214, it's 221,400 um, lux. And I could also test it over another, sur another surface to see what's hitting it. Pro approximately the same, uh, 21,600 lux. Another measurement students should take is how much light is bouncing off the surface. So for that, they should set it to the same height. I'll do my knee height. And over this surface, I'm getting 39 or 3,900. Because I'm multiplying that by 100. And over here, I'm getting oh, height, knee height, 2,800. So less coming off this than coming off that. Okay, and let's do this also for another surface. Let's go over to the side. All right, measuring the temperature of this surface, and you'll see even on a really cold day, this surface is a, this darker paint surface is it's almost unbelievable. It's, uh, it's topping 80 degrees. Um, the lighter surface right now is about 72. I mean, it's still kind of both going up, so maybe this 10 degree difference, um, maybe it remains as it keeps going up, or maybe uh, give another minute, they'll get closer to each other. But again, the darker surface tends to be. Um, warmer than the lighter one. That one's actually registering 80. 
eight now, and this one's Treasury in 71. Sorry, 78, still a 10 degree difference. Uh, let's see what's the difference in the light that strikes the surface. So, I'm gonna, because these are slightly oriented differently, I'm gonna hold this one flat up against here, and I get a reading of 886, which is 800, or 88,500 lux. And this one I'm gonna lay against here, which is a slightly different angle, and that's at 877, about the same. 87,700 lux, uh, but then I'm going to do it a one foot distance away from, or a little closer, just so I make sure I'm getting um, the surface behind it. I don't want to put it in shadow though, so I'm going to point it about right here, and I'm getting 296 and over here. I'm getting one, I don't want to get it in shadow, I'm getting 160. So way less light coming off of here than here.